trying to get more distance off the tee with your driver sick of being the shortest hitter in your group and always having to hit long irons or woods into par fours in this next video i'm going to show you the best golf driver swing basics for longer drives you can start launching much longer drives out on the golf course and have a lot more fun i'll see you soon Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. This is where I teach golfers how to make the game easy and play the shots that you want to play. So in this video, I'm gonna show you golf driver swing basics for longer drives. You can launch those longer drives on the golf course and start hitting shorter clubs into the holes. Start beating those buddies of yours on the golf course. So before we get started, don't forget to like this video. And please consider subscribing to the channel. The more subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and keep on producing golf instruction content like this so we can keep on improving and playing better golf together so I'm going to walk you through four keys to getting more distance with your drives with these golf driver swing basics make sure you stick around to the end it's important that you get all of these four keys to really maximize your distance off the tee so first one I want to talk about is alignment and it's probably not something you'd associate with distance but it plays a really key role in making sure you can launch those longer drives now with a lot of golfers i see particularly those that slice the golf ball now let's assume i'm aiming down my target line here most golfers that slice the golf ball they set up very open to the golf ball which accentuates their slice and just makes it worse and worse and what i mean by open is if i'm set up to a ball like this instead of having my my feet my legs my shoulders and chest parallel to my target line like i am here this would be parallel you can see everything set up pretty nice and parallel my club heads down the target line a slicer would typically set up like this they might have their club head aiming straight they'll have their feet very open and have their their legs chest everything pointing way out to the left and what that does as they come through hit a big slice ball curves around most golfers that slice the ball they end up opening their stance up more and more and more to compensate for that slice and that just makes things worse and they lose so much distance so it's absolutely imperative that you set up square to the golf ball practice this at the range and just play around with setting up open play around with setting up open or even setting up closed and you'll find you're able to find a nice happy medium somewhere in the middle now, I like to set up pretty much square nice and parallel there and I'm in a good position to hit longer drives I would even encourage you when you're when you're practicing to set up a fraction closed because that actually helps you get the club more on the inside so closed would be just having that right foot for a right hander just a fraction back of the left what that does is that helps accentuate an inside path which will get you more draw shaped golf drives going right to left and more distance off the tee but play around with that use an alignment stick get yourself parallel to your target and that'll help you hit longer drives now the next thing i like to work on is my ball position and the height of the tee so the first thing first ball position if you've ever watched any of those long drive contests you see them quite often they've always not even quite often always got that ball position way up in their stance so if i'm setting up to a driver here i like to have it somewhere just inside that left heel give or take somewhere around that position there and what that does is that makes it much easier to hit the ball on the up on the downswing so you're really maximizing your launch angle and able to get that more distance if you've got the the ball too far back of your stance like this when you come down to the ball you're not going to be hitting the ball on the up you're going to be hitting the more ball more on a flat or even on a downswing you're not going to maximize what this driver can do and get the most distance so make sure you've got it up in your stance and you get all nice and lined up get it just inside that left heel or thereabouts 
you'd be in a great position to maximize your distance off the tee. Now, the height of the, you put your ball on is really important as well. I like to get it, and hopefully you can see this on camera, I like to get about half a ball width higher than the actual driver at setup. And that gives me enough height to actually get underneath and sort of hitting on the up on the golf ball. I don't want it down too low. Well, that'll be too difficult to sort of be hitting on the up and maximize that distance. So roughly, again, it depends on what sort of driver you're using. For me, I find about half a ball higher than the actual driver it's set up for the tee height works really well. And I find that's, that's ideal to help me get the, the better launch angle with those drives that I'm looking for. Okay, so number three. And that is more speed so a pretty obvious one for hitting longer drives but this is a really important golf driver swing basic for longer drives because we've got to get that speed in our club head to maximize that distance it's no good making really slow and easy swings you're just not going to get that distance off the tee so the way to do that is we need a bigger hip and shoulder turn so if i'm set up over one here I want to be, I don't want to be swinging like this and just throwing the club up like that where my shoulders haven't even turned 90 degrees, my hips have barely turned. And when I come down, I'm just going to have no power whatsoever. So we really want to get a really big turn and coil. So I want to really get those hips turning, get the shoulders turning, and I really want to maximize that hip turn and shoulder turn. So I get a really big coil so then I can uncoil on the way down and really generate a stack of speed. So it's a couple of um, little drills I'll give you to help maximize that speed. First one is, it's something I've seen Francisco Molinari, Bubba Watson's done it. A lot of the older golfers have done it to generate a lot of speed. And that is, that lead foot, don't be afraid just to lift it slightly off the ground. And what I mean by that is just the heel because what you find, if you're someone that struggles to make that 90 degree shoulder turn, if you try this, just lift it off the ground, and you'll find it just gives you that freedom, because you lose that resistance in your leg, it gives you that freedom to make a bigger turn. And you'll find you can then generate more speed just by lifting that just a little off the ground. So from face on, it's only coming off the ground maybe just an inch or so, but that's enough to help you get that bigger shoulder turn. Now the other drill I like to do, I don't even need a club, is just get both arms in front of you and just practice splitting them apart and then just getting a full, nice full turn and letting those shoulders really turn all the way back. And that gets you the feeling of making a much better hip and shoulder turn which is going to maximize that distance. Once you've done that, pick up a club and you'll find it's much easier to get that bigger turn. Once you've just practiced without a club, you're getting that, getting that specific movement that you want to get that extra speed. Now, finally, I'll give you a bonus one here is take your right hand off the club Practice making left-handed swings only. When you do that, it's really easy to make a full shoulder turn. Really easy to make a full shoulder turn. So that as soon as you put your right hand back on the club, we have no problems turning back around, getting that full 90 degree shoulder turn. We've got more speed and that leads to more distance off the tee. So number four, the last one. Now this is the release in the golf swing. This is critical if you want more distance off the tee. So what do I mean by release? Well, we know this is our impact position. The release position is that position sort of anywhere from, anywhere past the golf ball really is our release position here. Now to get maximum distance, we want to be releasing the golf club somewhere out here, somewhere two, three foot past the golf ball. We don't want the club releasing at the golf ball and we definitely don't want it releasing back here. Um, if you've heard of the phrase casting, that's when a golfer gets to the top. When they start their downswing, 
they've got this lag angle here they lose that very quickly club head overtakes the hands and they flip at the golf ball like that and that's just a very weak and inconsistent golf swing or they might even hold that angle a bit longer but then they'll release it too early or they might release it at the golf ball and flip like that and again that's a very weak golf shot what we want to be doing as we come down we want to be releasing out here two three foot past the golf ball both hands out straight body opened up hands out straight here and that's how we're going to really maximize our golf swing speed and to help make the job easier of that what we want to be doing that lag angle that we've got here we want to maintain that as much as we can so that when we hit the golf ball down there we've got lag stored up and we're releasing out here somewhere if you can release out here you're going to generate a stack of club head speed and hit the golf ball a lot further great way to practice it don't need to be hitting a golf ball once again just make little half swings here and practice getting your release out there and once you've done that a few times work your way up to hitting half to three quarter golf swings actually hitting a golf ball just ensuring you get to the delivery position round about there and releasing out there somewhere if you can keep doing that it's going to add a lot of speed to your drive so that's it that's the golf driver base golf swing basics for longer drives if you have any questions or comments please post them down below i'd love to know what your thoughts are on how you think you might be able to get longer drives with those tips or something you've tried that's worked or what hasn't worked please post it down below i'd love to know thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel once again now below the video will be a couple of additional links to further golf instruction make sure you check that out thanks again for watching i'll see you soon